Are you currently having the problem that your Shopify product pricing is not updating on your store and you want to be able to fix this? Well, then you have come to the perfect video because in this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to fix this issue. But it is very important that you do watch this video until the very end and follow along step by step to make it work. So the first step is going to be for us to, of course, firstly log into our Shopify store and then we should be taken to this page right here. So actually I had the exact same problem before. I'm going to click on where it says products. And as you can see, I have this product right here. Before when I did update my product pricing, it was not updated for me for some reason. Even though I went into the website, it was not updated. So what I did was I went back into the product right here and then this active right here, as you can see, I set it up to draft. Now I'm going to click on save. And what I'm going to do now is to ju just scroll down. And as you can see, the price right now is 10 Swedish crowns for this one, as you can see for this test product, basically. But if it's not updated for you, even though you have updated it in here, you're going to do like this. You're going to actually just, uh, you're going to select some random pricing. I'm just going to do this one just a second. I'm going to take this price right here. Then I'm going to scroll down again real quickly. And now I'm going to update it to the correct price. So as you can see, I've now updated it to the correct price. Let's see. I'm going to click on preview in here. And as you can see, the price should be correct right now. So basically what I did was that I set the product on draft and then I just updated it to another price and then back to the same price that I want to be able to have that. And for some reason it was actually like, yeah, it worked for me basically after I've done the exact same step right here. Don't forget to, by the way, go back into the product again and set it to active because before we set it to draft. So make sure that you set it back to active to make sure that your product is now active again. And that is basically exactly how to do this. So let me know in the comments below. Maybe if you have any questions and I will try to answer to as many as I can. And also I wish you the best day.